good round like to the X for. Yep. I think that's good advice in the corner. Badly not a punch. Just box your game plan. If something unexpectedly good happens, you follow up. But in the meantime, you put two rounds in the bank and see what happens. Yep. Probably the last thing Bradley expected was that he would come here tonight and suffer two knockdowns at the hands of Manny Pacquiao. Ten minutes on the table. Do they? All right, sit down. Now listen to me. Stay low and go high with the right hand. Set him up. We got to set him up with something. We need a trick. All right? Stay high. Go low and come high with the right hand. Or do something. You bring him in. Flip to your left like you're going to throw something on the left and throw the right hand. I need jabs and right hands. Last now, round. I need you to go after, but smart. Off the side, not straight at him. Off the side. Use that jab and get around him to the left, away from his left hand. Don't be thrown away and get carried with the left hand. Do not be thrown away and get carried, but be aggressive off the side. Off the side. And I need to see right hands. All right, punch right hand. Off the set. And down. Dionisa Pacquiao. In her own reverie at ringside. Now Teddy wants Tim Bradley to try to set Pacquiao up for a knockout right hand. I guess he saw enough in that 11th boy that made him think he's kind of settled things down in there. And maybe in the last round, it's his only shot anyway. Yeah, it's the only thing he can do. Uh, Max has his only chance is to knock him out. He knows that at this point. With two knockdowns, that puts you way behind on the scorecard. So... The only chance you have is to try to set him up and knock him out. And he asked Bradley to go down with the right hand and then come up, right? Yeah, go down with the right hand to hopefully make him reach down, then come up top with it. And okay. 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 says that Bradley hit him low. Good right hand by Bradley. From here, regardless of the result of the fight, Manny Pacquiao will fly back to the Philippines, where for the next month he will campaign for a Senate seat. He acknowledged us that campaigning in the Philippines, like in the United States, is physically strenuous, is mentally exhausting. Is mind-numbingly difficult, and he expects to win. Bradley still looking to land the big right hand and knock Pacquiao out, as Teddy stop, Atlas stop, asked stop, him stop. to do. I got you. That was a good hook by Bradley. Don't and your bother, Pacquiao. seconds to go. Pacquiao feels that the fight is salted away correctly, of course, and is turned into a bit of a boxer. Now he looks like he wants to get aggressive. Stop, stop, no, no. Under a minute. No, 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 go from there. But it's a far cry from what happened against Floyd Mayweather 11 months ago. This has been a spirited performance all the way for Pacquiao, and he built it from round to round. First few rounds were tentative, feeling each other out, and then Pacquiao began to throw thunderous counters and land his straight left hand and his right hook. And eventually he got what seemed to be a fortunate knockdown of Bradley, and a couple rounds after that he got the real one. And the real one probably ended the competitive issue. And that brought to Manny Pacquiao one of the glorious wins of his career. for the knockout in those last 30 seconds, Jim, and as a result, almost got one himself. <laughs> Pacquiao turned the tables, but that's what happens when you turn, take those kind of risks. 
Here are the two big moments in the fight. First, round seven, Roy Jones, little right hook inside. Yeah, little right hook inside, caught temporarily high and off balance. Something we didn't see a lot of him doing tonight, but Pacquiao did catch it when it happened. And then in the ninth, real thunder. Once again, off balance, caught by a little short left hand. But he hurt by a big left hand right before that, though. Jinky Pacquiao at ringside, celebrating like in the old days. <laughs> A giant smile on the face of Bob Arum. And a prayer for the victor at ringside. And a crowd acknowledging the great man once again. And he deserves it, Jim. Greatness restored for Manny Pacquiao. Lupe Contreras is standing by with the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing a total of 36 rounds between these two legendary fighters, once again we go to the scorecard to determine a winner. All three judges turn in identical scorecards of 116 to 110. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, and now the WBO International Welterweight Champion from the Philippines. scorecard was 117-109, just a point different from the 116-110 rendered by all three official judges here. The final copy box numbers, Pacquiao landing 23 more, throwing 137 more, landing at a lower connect percentage than Timothy Bradley, but controlling the flow of the fight offensively. Power shots, Pacquiao landing five more, throwing 17% more, or throwing 17 fewer, I should say, and landing at a 46% connect percentage on his power shots. That's so good that it almost always is going to win you the fight, even against a guy who lands 40%. Max Kellerman stands by with Manny Pacquiao. Congratulations, Manny, in a dominating win against a tough and determined, very good fighter. How did this fight to you stack up against the first two against Tim Bradley? This fight is different than the, the last two fights that we have because uh, I'm, I'm aggressive this uh, time and then uh, careful. At the same time, careful, not uh, too careless. After the Mayweather fight almost a year ago where there wasn't a lot of action, uh, do you feel that this is more like the kind of Manny Pacquiao product that people expect? I, I, uh, I believe so. Uh, and I hope that uh, I gave them uh, a good fight and uh, I, I entertained them. You scored two knockdowns in this fight. How were you able to do that against a guy that you hadn't been able to hurt like that in the first two fights? Well, we, uh, every round I'm looking for uh, a knockout, but you know, Bradley is a very good boxer and top boxer, so uh, he deserved it. Did your right shoulder bother you at any point in this fight? It looked to us like you were shaking it out. No, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for uh, the counter of uh, Hook, but uh, he's, uh, he knows that I'm going to counter Hook, so that's why he's uh, uh, doing a counter punch also. Manny, ringside we were talking about um, how good, a, how good a, a fight Tim was fighting, and yet it still didn't matter. You were able to overwhelm him at times, and we were wondering how can a guy who's still able to do that against a, an opponent as good as this walk away from the sport when it seems like you still like to fight well i have a commitment in my in my family that uh, this is uh, i'm going to retire after this and then you know we don't know um if you ask me about uh, you know if i'm coming back but you know Maybe I enjoy by being a retired man and then uh, uh, serve the people, help the people. 
talking to Freddie about a month ago, he mentioned he'd like to see you fight Canelo Alvarez and then Floyd Mayweather in the future. When you hear stuff like that, what do you think? That's uh, what I love the fans. <laughs> Every time I hear that. <laughs> Manny, if this is it, is there anything you'd like to say to the fans? Uh, thank you to all the fans uh, in boxing, especially to the Filipino people. Um, I really appreciate all your uh, help and support uh, this, uh, in, in boxing uh, industry. And uh, to all the boxers, it's not only me, but uh, all the boxers, all the fighters. Thank you, boxing fans. Forgive me if we're a little bit skeptical that this is, in fact, it. But if it is, it's been incredible watching one of the greatest fighters who's ever lived through the years. Thanks, Manny. Uh, you know, Bradley is, uh, Bradley is a good boxer. He's a, a best fighter also, and he's a champion. He's a man, so, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, it's not easy. It's not easy tonight. Thanks, Manny. The best, Manny. Thank you. Okay. Bro, okay. can I invite you to Tomorrow, I think I'll leave. What time? Um, I think I'll leave in the morning time. Oh, I thought uh, but I yeah. said leaving in the afternoon, so, but I have What time? Uh, 11 o'clock. White room. In you guys breakfast. having breakfast tomorrow? Were you making plans? Huh? In Mandalay. Okay, at the Mandalay? Yeah. What time? Uh, 11 o'clock. 11? Okay. All right. Tell us, the, tell us the restaurant we can all show up, guys. Maybe, maybe tomorrow with me to the Philippines right before the election. Excuse me, guys. Tim, let me ask you about the fight. You guys apparently will have time to talk tomorrow morning. You seem so prepared, um, and you fought such a good fight, and yet there was Manny Pacquiao having you on the deck twice. What happened? <laughs> I don't even remember, man. <laughs> I really don't, man. I really don't remember. I hate to say it, but we got the replay if you want to be reminded. All right, check, let me check out the replay. Hate to be that guy, Tim, but here it is. All right, all right. Oh, no, nah, that, that wouldn't really knock down. He kind of pulled me down with his, uh, with his glove. That first one was more of a balance yeah, shot. Yeah, it was more I was off balance on that one. But the second one seemed to be... Let me see the second one. All right. Ooh! Ooh, wee! <laughs> yeah, he caught me good on that one. <laughs> it seemed that... Even when you do everything right with Manny Pacquiao, or most things right, no one's perfect, he has this kind of ability to make it come out wrong for you. Is it, can you explain what you experienced at all? Nah, he's just uh, very quick, very explosive. Um, you know, it's hard to really judge him. You know, he has quick reflexes, um, and he has experience, man. So he used his experience against me, uh, his ability, and uh, he won the fight tonight. Congratulations to Manny Pacquiao. Good job. You've had a long, tough career. You've had some very tough fights. You've told me after the Provodnikov fight, you were slurring your speech for a month. You have a beautiful family. You've made a lot of money. And yet tonight, you probably would have beaten most fighters in the world. Just not Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. What does this mean for you going forward? Well, uh, you know, I just got to go back to the John board and, uh, you know, go talk to my wife and my family and uh, see what's next for me, man. I don't know. If I might continue to fight, I'm, I'm not sure, you know. It just all depends. I'm going to take a little break, go back, regroup, and uh, see if I can come back. I still can fight, Max. I still can fight. We can see that. I'm in there with a special man, <laughs> Manny Pacquiao. Good job. Congratulations. Thanks, Tim, for another excellent fight. Jim? All right. Thanks very much, Max. Uh, you know, it's been a tremendous rivalry through these three fights, Roy, and I don't doubt for a second that they'll have breakfast tomorrow morning. We, <laughs> we spoke earlier in the fight about the fact that they are friends, but... They'll remember each other long into antiquity, won't they? Yes, they will. They'll remember each other, and it's almost, it almost reminds me of the great horse.